What's up guys, ViaPrepPV here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, if you have a Crossfire radio set up, how to get your RSSI into your OSD on your goggles. And I had a lot of people asking me how to get, do this, um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a video on it, and then I'll be making another video regarding the FreeSky protocol and how to get that OSD into your goggles. So look out for a video for that in the near future. So right now we're doing the Crossfire way. And the uh, first thing you want to go ahead and do is put your radio on. And I'm using the x Lite. This will apply pretty much to any um, radio that is OpenTX, uh, any Tyrannus pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get to my Crossfire script. Then my Crossfire Lua. And I need to power up my quad for the receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here. All right, so then we have, all right, so now we have uh, two, um, the receiver and also the transmitter. So we're going to go ahead and go to the nano receiver, and we're going to click on that. And then this is all the options for it. And to get your RSSI, see how I already have it on channel 12? Channel 12, um, I usually put channel 12 as LQ. A lot of people also do channel 8 as LQ. Um, it's really up to you which one you want to do. Now, there is actually two options in here. So let me go ahead and show you guys. There's RSSI LQ, and there's also LQ. RSSI LQ is another way to do your RSSI. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, I like to just use LQ. That is the link quality. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using today. But if you want to do RSSI LQ, you're more than welcome to do that. So um, let's go ahead and go to channel 12 or channel 8, depending on how many channels you have your um, Crossfire receiver set to. And then you're pretty much done in your radio settings. So next thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to Betaflight and show you what the next thing we have to go ahead and do. All right, guys. So now we're on the computer, and I have Butterflight pulled up. Um, Betaflight is pretty much exactly the same thing anyway. Because this quad I'm using it does use Butterflight since it's a Helio board. Um, but what we're going to do is go to the Receiver tab right here, and it's going to show RSSI channel disabled. What you want to go ahead and do is go to AUX8 if you set my if you set your um, channel output on your radio to channel 12. So pretty much what you got to figure out is you just minus the A, E, R, and T. Um, since there's channels, those are channels 4. So then you subtract those and you get channel 8. So And you can also confirm that by looking right here on channel 8. Um, actually, AUX8, that it shows 2,000. That means you're getting RSSI on that channel. So set that to AUX8 or whatever channel you set it to or whatever one you see 2,000 on here. It should be one of the last few ones here. And then just click Save. And that should be pretty much it. You should be getting your RSSI onto your goggles. And um, that should be about it. So look forward to another video where I'm going to be doing the free sky and how to get that set up. That's a little more involved. Um, if you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and any questions down below, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.